Modern infrastructure is quite slow to construct, and not only that, but it doesn't really have the ability to adapt. Once you build it, it's stuck in place. What origami allows you to do is really reinvent the way you build modern infrastructures. We can imagine that structures can deform, adapt their shapes into different forms to serve different functionalities in different environments. A lot of previous work and a lot of recent work has really been able to expand the scale of origami, but they've really used, for the most part, thin origami. What's really unique about our work is really being able to strategically build in thickness, which allows us to be able to carry really large loads. But at the same time, there's a lot of modularity embedded into these designs. It can rapidly deploy so that we can speed up our construction. And also, when you don't need it anymore, you can turn it into different shapes and forms, like building a bridge and also turning that bridge into all kinds of adaptive civil systems like walls, you know, bus stops. We think that there could be tremendous potential for using these after a disaster, where we would go and deploy these to rapidly reconstruct the region that has been affected, maybe recovering bridges or shelters that people have lost after a disaster. We can think of applications like building stations on Moon and Mars, because your material is so limited, you do hope to use your structure in other forms. Having deconstructible buildings is, it can be a real game changer, where instead of, of demolishing our buildings, we can really think about extending the life cycle, enabling long-term use of the same building materials. So there could be some really nice environmental benefits to these structures. In the future, we hope to use materials like carbon fiber, like um, steel and aluminum to build the systems so that we can improve the performance. I'm really excited about the technology and being able to bring these ideas of origami into buildings and architecture and really re-envisioning the way we've built our modern world.